hi, hello. Welcome back to XCOM 2. Uh, if you couldn't tell immediately, I've already changed the soundtrack. We are back in revenge mode, <laughs> and perhaps we should stay that way for the rest of this game. Uh, there's no business we can really do ahead of time. We still have like three dollars, and uh, here I can show you what something. What can I do for you, Commander? Hi there. Look, we have no extra items anymore. We lost them all. <laughs> all we've got are grenades. Luckily, those are unlimited, but. There you go. I thought I'd show that off to you. It's creepy hearing the Chosen talk as if they were just like us. For all we know, they might have been us before the Elders got to them. Scary. And, uh, yeah, we just got these guys. So, uh, without further ado, let's do it. My hope is it won't actually be that tough. Because, like, yeah, a lot of these missions that the game has, like, handed straight to us, has like, quote unquote, forced us to do, uh, have been pretty easy. Like, uh, hardly any scratches, usually. Uh, the ones that we volunteered to do, you know, rescuing everybody, going after the black site, those have been disasters. So with any hope, this will be a piece of cake. Mm. Even with our squad looking like this, tired, and only four of them total. But we gotta hope for the best. No weapon upgrades, no PCSs. Yeah, you just come to play more. Everyone else is just rocking grenades. You've got two. We're putting our trust in you, Varma. Okay. And yeah, no rookies or anything. We've all we've trained them all up, so there's a plus anyway, it's a positive. So let's go ahead and do it. Advent troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. All right, let's do this. And yeah, avoid destroying critical supplies. We have high explosives, so there's like a lot of explosive material out there. Uh, which is maybe not great, because everyone has just grenades. Uh, Outrider even has like, you know, claymores. Uh, she can destroy anything that can be destroyed in a range. So in that way, it might actually be very handy. But, uh, yeah, as we can see, there's already a lot. So we will want to be careful. Uh, let's see, yeah, you're you're always covert. I go where I'm needed. Just another barrel. Just <laughs> They really are everywhere, though. So we will want to be careful. Uh, let's see. Move you right here. Moving as ordered. Yeah, it's nice to still have at least one special unit right there. Uh, we'll see how it goes when we meet, like, the other faction. But we most certainly lost our skirmisher way back when. Like, yeah, it is sad that he did straight up die when we failed to rescue him. But, uh, I guess that's less information they're getting out of us, so... Confirmed. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Anish, you are... Yeah, you got the cannon. No time limit or anything, but we are totally covert and we see nobody, so kind of no worry and just rushing everyone forward right now, despite all the explosives. Why are they all here? What's going on on this site? We'll do. You want a sniper, I think we want to get you up on there. Okay. Oh yeah, let's move you... Hmm. It's not fantastic cover up here. 
Oh, and actually the map ends right over here, so maybe we want to go this way. Hmm. Very curious. I'd assume, yeah, there's another wall there, so. Huh. Well, we got faced in the wrong direction. Can you believe the game would choose to do this to us? I'll rush you up here. Stepping off. Alright, still no sight of anybody. I'll take a big move. Give you a big steppy over here. I understand. There's an alien patrol nearby. Okay, we found the enemy. Would have been a little paranoid if we didn't find them, like, even going up there, really. Uh, this is kind of a risky spot, but I believe you'll be safe if you run here. Copy that. You are assault, so we do want you somewhat close. I don't think they have any abilities other than, I don't know, having a sword. I don't remember what the default assault ability is. Is it just having a sword? Ow. But, like, no... No branching upgrade is what I mean. I don't have to remember what I chose for him or anything like that. Just a rookie. Or a squatty? A squatty. Okay. Well, they're almost certain to come back this way. We do have a turret here, though. Uh, nobody, like, no supports, nobody with the capability of hacking it, which is upsetting. That'd be pretty cool if it was on our list of explosives, just blow it up. Oh, hey. Okay, that wasn't the thing I was totally realizing. Their shadow ability gives them, like, yeah, an increased range of, like, invisibility. This guy is going to have a real hard time seeing them. It's interesting. I could move her there. Um, not sure if that's a good idea, because when she does leave shadow mode, she will be seen pretty easily. Um, I'm going to go for it. What the heck? As you order, Commander. It's not like we've been dying or anything like that. We're, we're going to be fine. Move you up and probably throw a claymore somewhere. Put more shrapnel. See, I don't know if that's because of an upgrade. I think she's pretty good with claymores because, for whatever reason, <laughs> I decided to upgrade her in that way. Uh, Alright, so these guys were like around this corner. A delicate placement. I mean, anyone can set that off. I don't think it'll even, like, trigger her concealment if someone else blows it up, so. We are totally safe to do that. What can you shoot at? Oh, the, the claymore, that's what that is. And yeah, what is nice is 100% shot. You do not need to worry about the range on that. Alright, move our... Yeah, move our sniper up here. Enemy squad located. That is good to know as well. Yeah, I would not want to get flanked while we try to move up and prep for this. Mm hmm. I guess, should we move you up? It's kind of dangerous, kind of risky. Kind of bad if something goes wrong. Yeah, I'll move you up here. On my way. Keep your eyes out in case something goes wrong. I want it. Vanya, what do we want to do with you? Like, you can move out this far, you can use your sword that far out. Which is nice. Not that far out for those guys, but, um... Who knows. I think it's best if I just keep them here. Be a, a little safe. Just a little safe. On Overwatch. Let's go out this way. Oh, they're going further out, actually. Well then, uh, claymore might not be as useful as I was hoping. Not immediately, anyway. We could we could keep waiting for these people. Hmm. Let's 
just the thing is we could wait on them. You can move up here and surprisingly not have anyone see. Incredible. Um, well, if you're going to give me the opportunity, <laughs> I will give it a try. I am trusting you. That's the power of the Reaper, baby. I'm climbing all the way up here, even. Nice little watch out spot here. <laughs> this seems a little much, but that's I'm the power of the Reaper. Alright. So she's got a good sight, anyway. Alright, what do we do with everyone else? I'm gonna wait, yeah, one more turn. See if they come closer to the Claymore at all. And if they do, we can ambush them there specifically. On the prize. And so long as you can't see me, so long as I've got like a decent shot on you, I'm willing to move him up here. Uh, I'll move him here just in case. Move into designated position. Turret can't see him so well. Seven percent chance. Not terrible, considering you could potentially kill in one hit. So that's nice. Got it covered. I need to we want to move you up too. Move you here. No, that's way too visible. I, I don't want to do that actually. Just keep you here. Scanning. If they are on their way back. So I think it probably is worth waiting one more turn. Double check where that claymore is right there. I think they congregate there. I hope this isn't all something of a waste. I think I think we're cool with it. Let's see, how does how's everything look up here? Pretty fine. Quite fancy enough. Remote start that actually. Fascinating. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think we ought to go for it. It feels super silly. You can slash a lot of people, so that, that's always an option. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a pretty good opportunity. I don't know if we're going to get that same opportunity with the Claymore. And um, I'm sure this will reveal everyone, not necessarily the Reaper, at all. Not even a percentage chance. So let's do it. Enjoy the show. They are still concealed. That's interesting. I have no idea you could do that. That remote start is suddenly a lot more valuable in my eyes. Wow. Um, okay. Well, what to do with this? I don't know if anyone's going to come over there. That, that's always the problem with using that, you know? You just... Mm. Alright, well... Here's the question, like, yeah, I, I would love to slash, slashy slash, this guy who is vulnerable to melee. Mmm. I just want everyone on the lookout, because cause I hope they can't run while I'm running at them, you know? So I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe to overwatch. Cannot move there. Yeah, okay, I'll do this. Oh and let's, let's start our gall darn assault, let's... Do not slash that. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's set this thing into motion. Let's get this started. They're on us. Get that music started too, you know. X-ray neutralized. Very nice. See, this is, this is a baby mission. Our XCOM squad is still really good. You just gotta trust me on this one. I actually see this guy from here. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if you, you can't. 
cannot launch a grenade at the guy, I suppose. But uh, we, we got some good shots on it. I'm not. I thought we had some good shots on it. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, 100% chance. You. Shit. It's a lot of armor, though. Good shot, though. I didn't get through to the meat. There's no meat on oh, that. You goofball. Uh, and you can shoot this. Not great, but let's. Your order. Yeah, it was promising what we saw of it. Target neutralized. Yeah, that's all you need, baby. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> Claymore is nice, but as always, like even with the mines in the first game, I believe that was a thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm making that up. I was never great at placing those. Yeah, with the max. So, alas, that didn't work out, but that's fine. Good start. Location confirmed. Okay, you moved up onto that building. Good little sniper roost for you. And yeah, everyone is revealed, so we do want to be mildly careful. Let's keep a little watch Scanning. out for ourselves. Ah, oh, the building! Right, everyone's fine, though. It's okay. Dennis, can you get up here? Yeah. Um, let's not move you here. I don't want to reveal anyone I'm not ready for. Just gonna move you on the slider. Copy that. All right. Uh, we'll put you back in the shadow position. Darkness is my domain. Yes. And we'll keep you scouting a little bit. Good to have eyes out front or something, you know. I'm on the move. An alien patrol. Alright, those look like pretty normal guys, but they do be there. Uh, we can do it again. I don't know if this, this might have had a small cooldown period, but we can keep doing it, baby. I won't let them pass. Nice, alright. Vanya. Yeah, you shouldn't reveal anyone from here, you should be good. Move, move, move! No, yeah, I can't forget that we can totally move through these fences, no problem. Funny as it is. So, Anish, maybe we'll do... I still want to be, like, a little careful, but maybe we'll do that Stepping with you. Off. Didn't even move through the gate, actually. Hello. I guess, yeah, they must have wandered just in range of maybe Vanya. But one way or another, they've seen us. Uh, no problem. Didn't get, like, an advanced attack on us, so it's fine. Um, what are we here for? Where's our objective? Avoid destroying critical supplies. Like, this might be a critical supply. It looks important. But generally, we just want to neutralize targets. Okay. Oh, nice little... It's like, yeah, a little guitar in the back there. see. I do very much enjoy running at people with a sword. See if that's a good idea here or not. We could go back there and hit that. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm always tempted to go straight for the leader, no doubt. There's a lot of damage. That's... Is there any good... Oh, you can get inside this, it turns out. I don't think there's any good, like, really good flanking positions here, though. Unless I walk straight up to the man. Um, dangerous as it is, it's fun. Um, music, but that wasn't a great idea. Uh, go figure. Okay. No problem, boss. And it is a big problem as well. Big problem, in fact, boss. Because we can't use a grenade on this guy without hurting our own man pretty badly, pretty severely. Let's... Yeah, we gotta take him out, I think. Alright, 
right, that could have been better, but we can probably deal with that. Yeah, there you go. That's 94%, man. You know that was good. You know that was good. <laughs> Alright, and we're definitely dealing with one guy regardless of what we do, sadly. Um, this is nearly guaranteed to take him out. Let's move up on this corner. I will go. A flank on someone at least. Yeah, 100% chance. This is definitely a kill right here. But I leave her. Nice. I That's the first time we've seen that, I think. Yeah, I left him wide up, <laughs> right open like that, so go figure. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, an extremely baby mission. Check that out. That was fine. Was he the one that was tired? Because, uh, there you go. Go figure. He, like, lashed out like that. See? Everything's fine. No, no problems here. What a, what a baby game. So easy. I do like that. Off our planet, Advent will fall. Yeah. Cool. We got hope yet, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Twenty years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders, trusting in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. No, mister. Get out of here. Off our planet. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Yep, he was definitely the tired one. So, congratulations. You finished that quite nicely. Sorry, Mr. Lebedev. You now know how I use my Reapers. I'm, I'm going to be a little risky with you. I'm glad you're sticking in there. Alright, Zinchenko, what do we want? Long watch. Or return fire. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with how he pulled out his pistol at the end there, and he went berserk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll return fire. It's in character for him. All right. Everyone else is doing okay. We got alien alloys. Oh yeah, like we got materials, baby. Turret wreck. Some materials anyway. Nice. We need that stuff. Unlock the viper autopsy. Uh, this creature is clearly reptilian in nature, although it appears to be not only sentient, but also highly intelligent. Still, the underlying physiology is remarkably similar to a number of terrestrial species, including the venom sacs, which we might be able to synthesize and incorporate for use in our medical supplies. Oh. Advent Turret Breakdown. The Advent Turrets rely on the aliens' advanced automation technology, providing security implementations to bolster their peacekeeping forces. Once we've gotten a look at the inner workings, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chances of defending against UFO attacks. And purifier. But the great understanding of the systems behind the advent purifier's unusual tolerance of environmental hazards, it will likely be possible to emulate their methods for some use in our own equipment. Did you forget we killed one at that very first explosion? And we didn't get stopped from before in that big three-part mission, because we couldn't take anything home with us on that one. So there you go. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. I understand, sir. Thank you very much. We have a friendship, a bond. Elena the aliens and Dennis? will always tell you otherwise, but this is the true voice of the Resistance, bringing you the real news about the latest victory over the invaders. We're getting stronger every day, and XCOM is making that happen. Yeah. There you go. They were both snipers, so have at it. Sniper friendos. Yeah! <laughs> a bond forged in blood. Great. You love it. You love to see it. Uh, alright. So this is great. We have money. We should probably, probably buy some rookies at least. Like what? We got five, six, seven people. Uh, like. 
Maybe from Two what I've more? heard, the resistance has already yeah. seen a boost in their recruitment efforts after word of the commander's arrival got around. They've needed a leader just as much as we have, and now they'll be expecting us to hit the aliens where it hurts. Not that I'm worried. We've got plenty of people itching to take on Advent. Things are just starting to get interesting. Mm-hmm. So I don't think these guys were... Like, I think these guys were, were generated from the very beginning of the game. So they don't have a lot of the really fancy outfits that, like, are modded in. Uh, for that sake, I'm gonna actually recruit Yumi, just because what is going on here is this... It's a fancy helmet. And I do want one more. So let's recruit someone who looks real cool. Uh, I mean, we already recruited one person with a helmet, why not? Why not do it again? There we go. Alright. Let's take a look at my, our new soldiers. So we got Yumi. There you go. She is quite a rebel. And we got Kessia and Madasa. Some real rebels we got on our team. They're good to go. Uh, I'm buying two in particular. So we have a total of, um, yeah, nine. Because it's pretty likely two are always going to be on cover action, so that leaves us with seven. Um, one of them's probably going to be in specialist training at any time for these two, or three. So that leaves us with six. And then I guess that's actually kind of one more than I want, but really... I don't know. More is better, probably. Cool. So we'll go with that for now. We'll see if that works out. We've already got someone doing that. Uh, let's see. What do I want money for? Hey, Commander. Yeah, stuff in engineering. Hello. What do I want to make? A cool sword? I mean... Maybe I'll wait on this for now. We don't have a lot of supplies. Maybe something will pop up. But, yeah, remember that. What do you know about these gene therapy clinics, Doctor? They seem like a big draw for the cities right now. Having worked in one of the facilities, I can tell you firsthand. They do offer a level of medical care unmatched by any previous effort in our history. The aliens have effectively cured all of humanity's greatest ailments. Cancer, malaria, AIDS. The process is relatively simple. As long as you're compliant. Yes. The price of admission is acceptance of all Advent policies. For many people, that's hardly a consideration. A minor inconvenience at most. I'm beginning to see the appeal. Lore building. Okay. Let's keep on scanning somewhere. Oh, yeah, we got a clinic. And after our recent success, members of the Resistance New Stasia have brought us reports of activity we may want to investigate. We get Avenger power. So I guess that's like power for our rooms, you know, like generators would provide. That's kind of curious. Uh, am I currently searching in the black market? We are not all that dissimilar, Commander. We have both lost and in turn cause great loss for others. I shed blood in my master's name, just as you send others to shed blood in yours. There's a fine line between honor and hypocrisy. I'm sorry. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Okay, so this is kind of nice. Um, let's see what this is. It's like, yeah, you just gotta like four pretty solid and good weapons here we can make, which is fun. Codename Methuselah. Our troops discovered several weapons that would appear to be anything but useful in our fight against the aliens, but evidence from unofficial field trials revealed various strange capabilities that defy clear explanation. Despite their insistence and some degree of ridicule at my expense, I have repeatedly tried to explain to our troops and the senior staff that even though these weapons may look simple, reproducing them is not nearly as easy as assembling the component materials. As it stands, I will likely resist further efforts to try and replicate them unless the circumstances of our campaign against the aliens change. I am a scientist, not a blacksmith or a boyer. Boyer? I don't know what the word is. But they're pretty good weapons, pretty solid. Especially for the early game stuff. We can... Oh, we gotta do Proving Ground stuff, maybe? Oh, Frost Bomb. Shadow Keeper. I'm not gonna read these because I'm, I'm hypocritical. Hunter's Axe. And a bolt caster. And we're inspired to make plated armor. Wow, we're. Uh, it's still 18 days, though, mister. That's quite a bit. Uh, I think we'd rather do some quick autopsies. Trooper. Turret breakdown. To improve our chance of defending against UFO attacks. I don't know what that means. Let's. 
unless I was scanned a battlefield that we noticed. That's also kind of boof, maybe. But let's let's give it a try. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. You're so gross, mister. I would not let you surgery me. Probably. Working at the Advent Clinic, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens' arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. There. So we definitely want to make a proving ground. Uh, first because, like, hey, the, the story requires us to. But that's only we're going to make um, those special weapons and other special things. So that's probably our next objective after that room's cleared. You don't want to talk to me. This, oh, I'm, I'm so upset. Oh, well. We did have someone training as a specialist, which is good. I don't know if we have too many of those. Good job, Squatty Fergus McLeod. Yeah, let's see, that slot's open again. And we have two new rookies who would love to do it, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, we'll just start with Yumi. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. How, what, what are our forces looking like here? By class, Grenadiers, one Ranger, one Sharpshooter, two Specialists. Uh, so... Yeah, just one Sharpshooter and they're tired. One ranger and they're wounded. I'm gonna make a ranger then, cause uh, Commander. I'm biased. I really like rangers, and also we're not gonna have one for a little while, so she'll be available before the other one is. Bada boom. All right. Still nothing to say to us. I see how it is. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Despite yeah, right. a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. Hmm. Her deacon. The most public face of Advent security, the standard Advent Trooper serves in a first response role in areas of high public exposure. Although rumors as to their origins have persisted for years, it's only recently that we've confirmed it that they are, in fact, the product of a human-alien hybrid development. My initial autopsy indicates that the troopers were at one time entirely human, implying some means of gradual genetic enhancement without the rejection concerns that would normally plague these experiments. The body itself maintains the general outward appearance of a typical human, with the most crucial changes occurring in the cranial structure. It is my belief that the Advent Troopers receive their orders, that is to say, are controlled directly through a psionic link engineered as part of the genetic modification process. As we first discovered in the field, the eyes are notably larger, perhaps as an unintended side effect, as they seem to provide only limited improvements to the Troopers' visual acuity. The aliens have managed to disguise this glaring physical trait from the general public through the use of cleverly designed armor. Just gonna say like their foreheads in general and stuff. Yeah, battle scanner, deploy it like a grenade, throw it, and reveal parts of the map. Oh, this is like in the first game. Hidden or disguised enemies will be revealed as well. Oh, like the faceless. That is good. That is good to know, actually. Makes it a little more valuable in my eyes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do let's do another one. Just because they're they're quick and short and probably maybe useful. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. Indeed. I, yeah, you have nothing to say to me either, so that's fine. We can carry on. And <laughs> almost finished scanning, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Money! Oh no, actually, the machinery was cleared. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy, I'm glad, but. Call darn it. <laughs> okay. 
So of course we have all these things. We already have resistance comms being built or having been built. So let's make a proving ground, which will actually uh, go through all our power. Oh, Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Mm-hmm. Uh, we could have them assist in building it. I don't think we want that, because we do want to clear, in fact, another room for power, if nothing else. Let me see what this, this is. This coil so. could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. So can I just put you in there and you can just do it? Okay. Uh, and this would provide us power. Yeah. Boot for 30 days that's going to take, though. So, yeah, these are always long-term projects, and maybe this would be better than doing that. Ugh, I don't, I don't know if I can even cancel this now, so, oh well. Uh, should be helpful. Let's see, yep, power capacity, that's fine. Swoosh. Strategic resource located. 61. I maybe anyway beneath the looming statue of an elder we noticed an overgrown security checkpoint placed at the intersection of two roads after further inspection the corpse and the advent and security officer was discovered slumped over the small desk inside our engineers swept the site and recovered a number of useful system components okay yep just 61 supplies <laughs> command after recent success members of resistance in new arctic have brought us reports of activity we may want to investigate resistance contacts i'm not entirely sure what that means exactly we do have the black market, which is curious, which is tempting. But we don't even have that many supplies. I think we should just stick to our normal stuff. Adventure power, this contacts. Um, I don't know. I think our power situation is already being taken care of, kind of slightly. I want to figure out what Avenger this is. Avenger plotting new course. Swoosh. Tell me more. The aliens have just finished a new facility tied to the Avatar project, Commander. If we can make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility and set back the aliens' work. Commander, we've just received intel that one of Dr. Volan's escape test subjects is guarding a nearby Advent facility. Best be prepared before we try to take it out. Yeah, has that been a thing? Uh, Dr. Valen, our scientist from the last game, uh, we don't know exactly what happened to her, but she's got, she's been doing work, and it's been dangerous for us. Let's look at this. There you go, yeah, another alien facility. Sabotage it. Extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding this location. And we gotta make resist, like, contact with them. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a while. Yeah, we really do need to step on this, but um, we're kind of not ready. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to attempt this again, but not not immediately, that's for sure. Uh, all right, continue scanning here. I, I have to manually come back here. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. All right, that's good. Yeah, I gained experience, increased cohesion with Kerrigan, mobility is increased, and, uh, yeah, experience and cohesion, but you're wounded. So, hey, uh, we, we get a faction hero attack, some strengths, and gain new resistance orders on covert actions. Alright, so our team established contact with the Templars, and their leader claims he knows all about us, about XCOM. I'm not sure I have any idea what he's talking about, but at least he sent one of his followers to work alongside us on the adventure. That's very nice, thank you very much, we could, we could use the manpower. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders give us nothing more than raw materials for their design. We will take back our power and turn it against them. Oh, Commander, it's about time we spoke, don't you think? I'm Geist, leader of the Templar Order. But I'm sure you already knew that. Stories of me tend to spread far and wide. You are welcome here 
any time, Commander, for among all others of your kind, you alone know the true power of the Elders. You have touched their minds, you have heard their voice, and surely you know that they must fall. On behalf of all Templars, I humbly offer our services towards their demise. Together, we shall be unstoppable. Pretty cool. I, I'm cool with it. So heck, we will master what is rightfully ours. The power that the Elders claim is their own. So uh, yeah, definitely Psyonix focused. Um, they have a lot of melee stuff going on there too. My followers and your people yeah. continue to grow in skill, and now the Resistance can take on more responsibility, should you need it. Their Resistance orders can only be activated at the end of each month, so... Good to know. Stay with me, soldiers are much more likely to bleed out rather than die when their health drops to zero. Meaning they won't instantly die, of course. <laughs> that just makes it sound bad. Alright. Shaki has received a promotion. Congratulations. Do you have another promotion? Commander, the factions have identified additional operations to benefit the resistance. Uh, we should meet in the resistance ring to examine their proposals. Um, okay. A new Is this another to disrupt the elders' plans has presented itself, and my followers are eager to proceed. Mm, there you go. Okay, so we can hunt the chosen assassin if we want to. Um, yikes. Let's see. Like, yeah, let's look at our new ones. We can gather supplies. I've sent some disturbance in the wild, and I suspect there may be material of value left from a recent operation by Elder's minions. We just sent our forces to survey the scene. That's good. Uh, and there's only a chance for soldiers to be wounded. And we can negate that risk, too, with an engineer. Oh, there you go. That's cool. We can form a bond, and we can... No, we need to give them supplies if we want to negate this. Okay. Uh, that's cool. So, that's cool. <laughs> Soldier cohesion will meet the next bond threshold. There you go. Uh, hmm. We definitely are in need of supplies. This would be very useful. Gather intel, recruit skirmishers. We could use another one. Make sure our soldiers are properly equipped for combat. We might want to do this. Do we have a sergeant plus? That'd be outrider. And we could negate the risk of ambush, actually. That's kind of curious. If we didn't do this, we could just have a combat with a, a single person. Hmm. Okay, and we can uh, gain ability points. We can train our people, which is solid. Very solid. Soldier will promotion. Uh, hmm. Technical advances. Reduce the cost of all the guerrilla trainings, tactics, or whatever. Um, jeez, okay. Additional resistance orders and covert actions. Almost. Hmm. Um. Okay. You know what? I think we should do this. We, of course, we could always use more units. You know, is the thing. Aim plus two. Congratulations, Outrider. It's you. Uh, and we can edit you from here just to make sure you're good to go for combat, which is nice. Can't change anything about you though. You're, you're just you're just good to go. You're you're all equipped. We should bring someone with you, though. Let's negate that risk. Uh, let's not bring the Templar. We gotta show them off. Bring Cassia. Yeah, give her some free experience. Maybe she'll come back upgraded. Now we don't need to worry about doing that manually. That'd be nice, right? Alright, so off they go into, I don't know, Russia? The western edge of Russia, at least? I don't know. Off you go. My kind will do whatever is needed. Yeah, I gotta reestablish contact with you, cause uh, you understand that the last guy died, and I, I am very sorry about that. Uh, yeah, let, let's look at Shaki. Are you promote you? I think it's just the one then. Yeah, we're still just waiting on the last one. Okay, I, I'm gonna bump you with this. Honestly, I'm gonna take a, take a screenshot right now. I'll I'll show you what for. I'll get you. Okay. And, uh, yeah, okay. Just a lot of management stuff, you know? I wonder if, like, less than half... Of, oh, Andy Gordon. Right, that's you. I wonder if less than half of these are actual tactical combat, and it's just me rambling on the screen, I don't know. But check out the Templars. They have a Psyblade. It's a melee attack with the chance to stun or disorient the target. Cannot miss. That's cool. Triggers momentum. 
and generates focus on kills. They have a whole resource thing. The, the dynamo, cyanide attack. Bad considering, but sometimes Shh. I do miss that damn sweater. <laughs> it's because of his appearance in the first game. That's cute. A dynamo cyanide attack that deals low damage, but jumps to nearby units at higher focus levels. Hmm, okay. I say you can gain focus during missions, increasing stats, damage, and ability effectiveness. Focus can be spent on powerful abilities. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's good to know. You can give him side blade, parry. After attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. This is extremely cool. From the next attack, so it's not like all next attacks, I think, but it's good. Uh, shot, target struck by Volt will be easy to hit. You see squads aim by, against the target. That could affect a lot of people. Mark a single target with psychonic lens, causing them to take an additional 33% damage from a number of future single target attacks. Cool. If takes enough damage to be killed, they are immediately put in stasis for one turn, and their health is only reduced to one. This can only happen once per mission. That's good and solid and safe. Just because we're like losing a lot of people left and right, I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I think the parry move is extremely good. From the shared pool. Oh, you can... Oh, you can spend from the shared pool. Oh, that's how that works. Well, I'll give him both. He's neat. Cool. Uh, Alright, without more further ado, as you understand, let us continue. Scan. I did not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. <clears throat> Alright. We've run across the Advent turrets in a variety of places, mainly near the security checkpoints and other areas they're trying to lock down. Now that we've finally gotten a chance to pull one apart, I can say with certainty that the turrets are operating entirely on their own, with no outside controller or remote direction given. As much as I'd like to test the targeting sensors, Central and Dr. Tigan have both expressed their concerns about test firing the system before we know how it discerns between friendly and hostile targets. Considering how close the aliens position these things to civilian... how close they position these things to civilian occupied areas, the target recognition software must be incredibly accurate or incredibly basic. I wouldn't be all that surprised if the aliens were just flipping the switch and letting these loose on anyone caught in the firing radius. I'll have to see about setting up some sort of test environment. We can make it a defense matrix. Uh, in case of a ground assault on the Avenger, that's a thing that we should be aware of, I suppose. Hasn't happened yet. Okay, what do we want to do? We could look into Psionics. It's just going to take a whole 17 days is the thing, you know what I mean? Just because I don't want to do much more reading at the moment, I'm going to do that. I will begin our research immediately. And then I think we can switch this if we want to later, so not a, not a huge Maybe commitment. Maybe we can start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. Yeah, you hear that, Central? Take that. As allies, I must call upon your help to aid my followers. Interesting. I don't know if I've seen these before. Commander, the Monks of the Stars has a have a high priority mission for you. I wonder if that's always accurate, because I'm sure this nickname changes, but that's cool. Okay, so they want us to do something. Which is interesting. Jet and Jira. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say. That's an incredible name coincidence, but right, I did make some wild arms characters and I did throw them in, so. There you go. Like, that's weird. Uh, interesting. Okay. I I'm absolutely willing to do it. course for Sector 14, East Asia. Swoosh. Okay. And we do sort of have a full team. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna have to take him again. He's... Oh, he's so tired, though. But great. Looking good, then. All right, so I have some confidence in this. The game asked us to do it. We didn't volunteer to do it, you know? That's that's important, it turns out. <laughs> so, cool, all right. I will see you then on April 12th. That's like an actual full week later, which is fine. They've actually been coming quick and rapid at us lately, so take a little break. Take a, take a hero's welcome of a break. But relatively. <laughs> all right, I'll see you then. Goodbye.